Welcome everyone as we digitally begin to gather one another. Whoops, I just made a mistake. So we begin to gather together on this Sunday, the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. And we'll begin in a few moments our celebration of our live stream mass. So welcome everyone. Continue to welcome our brothers and sisters to our Sunday live stream mass this morning. Welcome everyone and God bless. begin our Mass very shortly. We welcome everyone near and far. Continue welcoming our brothers and sisters. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of, of the Eucharist. A chilly day here in Port Perry, Ontario, Canada. Uh, presently minus 11 degrees. So we welcome you here for our celebration as we continue to gather. And we'll begin in a few moments. So good morning, we're going to begin now our celebration of our Sunday Mass. We welcome everyone near and far to this great gift of a live stream Mass through the gift of technology. I welcome you here to our celebration in a special way to the parishioners of Immaculate Conception Parish here in Port Perry. But we welcome all of our brothers and sisters. I see some of our American friends, some of our friends from Palestine are joining us in our live streaming of our Mass. So welcome to this third Sunday in Ordinary Time. We'll begin with our gathering hymn that many of us may know, You Satisfy the Hungry Heart. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice, 
So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we gather through this great gift of technology, coming to receive the graces of this Sunday Mass, let us call to mind our sins, and as we follow the Lord, pardon and peace. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now give Sabbath praise to our God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Parishioners of Immaculate Conception may know we do have a beautiful ample pulpit here, but because I'm the only one in the church and it is using my very simple cell phone on a stand, I'll be proclaiming the Word of God here at this place. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from the evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, make me know your ways. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. Lord, make me know your ways. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been of old. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Lord, make me know your ways. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. Lord, make me know your ways. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus walked along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As Jesus went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat, mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Immediately, immediately. It is a very strong word, is it not? Immediately. In the Gospel for today, we hear this word not just once, but twice. Immediately, something has happened. Immediately, they followed him. It is a very strong word. As compared to simply saying, they followed him. He called them. But rather the Gospel is very clear in saying, immediately they followed him. It is a very strong word. It is even stronger if we compare the Old Testament with the New Testament. There is a subtle difference when people would follow God in the Old Testament as compared to the New Testament. Surely, yes, there are many people of the Old Testament that followed God's plan. And yet we heard today in the Gospel, in the New Testament, immediately they would follow him. Indeed, if you compare the Old Testament and the New Testament, how many times does the word immediately appear in the Old and the New Testament? Depends on your Bible. But generally in the Old Testament, which is a bigger part of the Bible, in the Old Testament, the word immediately is found 20 times. 20. In the New Testament, the word immediately is found 70, 70, 70 times. So imagine that, brothers and sisters. Old Testament, 20 times immediately. New Testament, 70 times the word immediately. We see the great comparison. Over three times the amount that we hear the word immediately in the New Testament. This means, therefore, we follow Jesus, we follow God immediately, we follow Jesus immediately in the New Testament. 
It is certainly not that in the Old Testament there were not great, great people of faith that followed God. They had the great prophets, Moses, and all of these people of faith that followed God's plan in the Old Testament. And yet clearly, as they would follow the plan of God in the Old Testament, they would hesitate. Even Moses himself, when God came to Moses and asked him to be the leader of the Hebrew people, Moses hesitated. Moses said unto God, I do not have a good speech. I cannot speak well. Pick Aaron. Choose Aaron, not me. Moses, even the great leader Moses, hesitated in following God's plan. Eventually, of course, Moses would, would become the great leader and a tremendous person of faith. Even in today's first reading, the prophet Jonah, we hear in the first reading at this Sunday Mass, Jonah and the beautiful example that Jonah was, the courage he had to tell the people of Nineveh to change their ways. And yet, when God first called Jonah, do you remember what he did? What did Jonah do? When God came and asked Jonah to do this, Jonah said no, and Jonah ran away from God. Remember the whale, the fish caught Jonah in his mouth, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days, and then the fish spit him out. So even Jonah, in the first reading for today, a great prophet, a great prophet, but he hesitated. He hesitated in following God's plan. Eventually he would say yes and become a great prophet and a great leader. Clearly in the Old Testament, they hesitated. They did not immediately do what they were to do. It is only within the gospel of today and the Holy Gospels, that they would immediately, immediately follow Jesus. Yes, their call, like our call, to follow Jesus. We have to love him immediately. We have to accept him into our hearts immediately. We have to honor him and find joy in Jesus Christ immediately. And we're to walk in the plan that Jesus has for us. We don't hesitate. Immediately, we follow Jesus. Just as in the gospel, those fishermen immediately followed him. We are also called to immediately follow Jesus Christ without hesitation. Now you may say, yes, Father Keith, I have tried to do that. I have tried to immediately follow Jesus. I've tried not to hesitate, and yet I fall, I stumble, I make mistakes. Well, if this is true of us following Jesus immediately, and yet stumbling, do not worry, for the great saints, although they immediately followed Jesus, they stumbled and they even fell. Today's Gospel, Simon Peter. Simon Peter immediately followed Jesus. Then on Good Friday, denied him three times. He fell and he stumbled. So even though Simon Peter immediately followed Jesus, he had to work this out. He had to work it out in his life by the Holy Spirit. Another beautiful example, St. Francis of Assisi. 
St. Francis immediately followed Jesus, immediately did so. And when Jesus said to St. Francis of Assisi, rebuild my church, rebuild my church, poor St. Francis thought, oh, this physical church, the bricks and the stones of this church that are falling down, I have to build this church. But God said, no, you misunderstand. Don't just build that physical church, St. Francis. Rebuild my church. So even St. Francis of Assisi immediately followed Jesus, but had to work it out. What does this mean? St. Francis would have to discover. Simon Peter, St. Francis, you and I, Please, God, we have said yes and immediately follow Jesus. And yet, we have to work it out. Like St. Francis and like Simon Peter, like the other fishermen, our whole life long, working it out. And what it means in my situation, your situation, to follow Jesus Christ. As we continue with this Mass and the grace given to you from this altar in Port Perry, let us continue to get the grace of Almighty God, to immediately say yes to Him, to receive Him, to immediately love Him, and to follow Him, continually working and working it out by the power of the Holy Spirit, at the direction that God wishes for us, without hesitation, immediately, to love and to follow. As a community of believers, let us profess our faith, our trust, and our joy in the Most Holy Trinity as we seek to follow. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In humility and joy, we come before the risen Lord, petitioning Him for graces, so we as individuals and church may always and only follow Him. Let us pray for the church. In these challenging times, the church will continue to be a light to the world, salt of the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders, for our government leaders, business leaders, leaders of our communities, our school leaders, union and business leaders, church leaders everywhere, that God will give them wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In this week dedicated to Christian unity, we pray 
for all the baptized, that one day we shall dwell in one house. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, especially intention of this Mass for Lawrence, and for all of those who are ill in mind, body, or spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, for all of those that God will come to them and gently bring them home to his kingdom. Today we remember in prayer Emily Wilkes and all the faithful departed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As followers of Christ, our own petitions we silently present to our Lord and Savior. That God, through this holy mass, may hear and answer all our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the light that dwells within our lives. Grace us every moment to work out the salvation you have offered to all of your people forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spirit you all drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Let us pray. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. So now with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, hosts and powers of heaven, we join the hymn of your glory as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church, 
Lord, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, glorious martyrs, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As followers of Christ, at the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you have said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. For a moment, let us pray for peace for those who are near to us and those who are far from us. For Christ's peace to those in our prayers. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him. He came to take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our prayer for our spiritual communion. 
for an obligation of Sunday Mass in the graces of this Eucharist. Please pray and repeat after myself the prayer of spiritual communion. O oh, Jesus, my Lord and my God, O oh, Jesus, my Lord and my God, I have come to you this day. I have come to you this day. You have come to me this day. You have come to me this day. I accept you into my soul. I accept you into my soul. Although I cannot receive you this day, although I cannot receive you this day, this is my spiritual communion. This is my spiritual communion. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go forth, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. I will now offer the announcements for the sake of the parishioners of Immaculate Conception in Port Perry, and then our closing hymn for our Mass. For our parishioners of Immaculate Conception in Fort Perry, a reminder this is the final week to phone or email your prayers for Father Marco. Next Sunday, I am totaling up our spiritual bouquet, the communions, rosaries, personal sacrifices, framing it and sending it to Father Marco. Phone or email the number of your prayers for Father. God bless your week and your Sunday. And now our closing hymn. As I mentioned, this is the week of Christian unity. More than ever, we need unity in bringing Christ's light to the world. So please join in our recessional hymn. They'll know we are Christians by our love. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, 
Yes, no, we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. And we'll guard human's dignity and save human's pride. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Have a blessed Sunday and a week ahead. Be safe, be patient, and be kind. God bless.